This shows all high volume motors, 110 volt 60 hertz and 220 volt 50 hertz. In this video, we will be demonstrating brush changes on the 110 volt 60 hertz VFC motor. But these instructions are also applicable to the other five motors. The three completed blower motor assemblies are 110 volt units. The three motors in front of the completed blowers are the 220 volt corresponding motors. All three assemblies can be used with a 110 volt motor or a 220 volt motor. These are the three different sets of brushes for the 110 volt 60 hertz and the 220 volt 50 hertz motors. It is important to use the proper replacement brushes for each motor. The part number TE33392 is used on the 110 volt VFC motor. The part number TE33384 is used for the 110 volt MFC motor and the 110 volt puff motor. The part number TE33378 is used for the 220 volt MFC motor, 220 volt VFC motor, and 220 volt puff motor. We are disassembling a VFC blower motor assembly to change the motor brushes. You need to replace these brushes approximately every 300 to 400 running hours. Start by removing the eight bolts holding the VFC device to the blower motor. Remove the aluminum ring the VFC device, and the gasket. Turn over blower motor assembly. Unscrew the cord connector to release the power cord from the housing. Push grommet and connector nut to the end of the power cord. Push power cord into the housing while removing the housing from the motor and set housing aside. Unscrew the two wire nuts from the two black wires on the motor. Unscrew the wires to disconnect them. Then disconnect the green ground wire using a 5 16 inch nut driver. Set the housing aside. Remove the aluminum spacer ring. Take off the motor cushion and inspect it for brakes and good flexibility. Replace the motor cushion with part number TE1004 if required. Remove the second aluminum spacer ring. If using a motor other than the 110 volt VFC motor, there will only be one aluminum spacer ring. Remove the packaging from the replacement brushes.
Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two bolts securing the brush hold down bracket. Remove bracket and set aside. Loosen the brush and gently push the brush clip from the brush housing using a flathead screwdriver. Remove the brush. Replace the new motor brush. Make sure the brush is in the same position as before. Insert the brush clip under the plastic holder with the flathead screwdriver. Make sure the clip is completely against the brush holder. Be careful not to touch the armature with the screwdriver. Reattach the brush hold down bracket with two bolts. Make sure the bolts are secure. Repeat this process on the second brush. If you are using a motor with two rings, replace one ring, then replace the motor cushion and the second ring. If using a motor other than the VFC motor, replace motor cushion first then replace the ring. Reattach the green ground wire with the bolt using a 5 16 inch nut driver. Twist together a black wire from the motor to the black wire on the power cord. Then screw on a wire nut. Twist together the other black wire from the motor to the white wire on the power cord. Then screw on the other wire nut. Push the power cord connector with the rubber grommet into the connector. Tighten cord connector to secure the power cord. Turn the assembly over.
replace the rubber gasket, VFC device, and aluminum ring on the assembly. Replace the eight bolts into the motor housing with a Phillips head screwdriver. Seat the new motor brushes using a TE-5075 brush break-in device at about 50 volts for approximately 30 minutes. This will enhance the life of the motor brushes. You can adjust the voltage of the brush break-in device using a flathead screwdriver and a 7 16 inch wrench.